Welcome back. You're watching Sports on Primetime. Now, Club Boxing Promotions has something special lined up for Youth Day tomorrow. 11 boxing bouts at the Turfontaine race course. With the main event featuring an SA lightweight title defense, pitting the champion Zonke Fana against Thompson Mokwana. And my guest tonight is Ayanda Matiti to tell us more. Ayanda, you've been uh, billed as the busiest boxing promoter around you've won awards for it 11 bouts tomorrow how do you pull that off well evening evening Simon and evening to the viewers um, well we are elated of course by the award given to the outlook and the brand we had to look at a number of activities that the country observes yes. um, and June 16 is one of those and the celebration and the commemoration of the 1976 generation, which is the 41 year anniversary. So we felt, uh, as, as, as the boxing fraternity, um, we need to contribute in the mood of the country mm -hmm. um, with uh, what we know best, which is boxing. Right. Pitting best boxers against each other both in South Africa and in the continent. A very traditional South African sport, isn't it? Of course. But you can, you can also look at the lineup. Um, Fana is an is a old boxer. Yes. He's a former IPO and IPF world champion. He has been around. He has been in the game. He's almost the only one in the 11 bouts. If there's 11 bouts, it means there's 22 boxers. Because we're, we're celebrating young people. June is, is, a month, is a month of young people. So we felt all the youngsters that are within the, the, the confines of the framework uh, that are defined by the act of, of, of the country, which are young, must be participate in this bout. And by and large, active boxers and active uh, boxing participants in the main in South Africa are below the age, ages of 35. So most of them uh, fairly young boxers. Right. Fana is fighting against a, long, a local star. Um, Thompson Mukwana is a former South African champion himself. He's um, giving a third try in the South African title. So uh, we're hoping that uh, boxers would, would best exhibit their talent um, and contribute in that which I've said. Absolutely. It's the mood um, yeah. by everybody in South Africa to celebrate uh, the youth of 1976. So when does the bell ring for the, for the bouts? Um, what time does it start? The entrance fee? Uh, how do we get there? Well, it's, it starts, um, it, it's scheduled to take place at Tefontein race, race course. Yes. Uh, it's, it's starting at half past six, the first bout. And um, general tickets are 150. Ring sides, it's, it's 200. And we also have a, a main supporting bout of a local boxer who's fighting against a Tanzanian. They are fighting for the WBA, um, WPC, Africa, ABU, yeah. Africa title. I, I think we've got it on screen now so viewers can see the full lineup there. Exactly. And it is quite a menu, a logistical feat for you, but as, as I said, promoter of the year, this is no sweat for you, isn't it? Well, it's, 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 it's quite a, you, you, if you pay attention to detail, you'll pull it through. We obviously would not have done it without our partners, uh, Gauteng um, Gambling Board and uh, Pumalela Gaming. So it's also important to appreciate that uh, they associated with the concept that in sports, in everywhere else in the country, mm. we must sit back because it's a holiday. People are laying back at home, relaxing, but boxers are boxing. And you find that like, South Africans are coming back to boxing. I mean, it was all. I said it was a traditional South African sport, but it was, it was very much spectator orientated. Uh, the, it was a kind of an event. Are, are people coming back to the arenas to watch? Well, yes. Um, boxers are playing their role as well. Uh, you would remember that the the boxing as a sport was uh, used to be one of the main three top sports in South Africa. It was largely made by boxers who could shoulder the country and become world champions in major world bodies. Your IPF, your WPA, your WPO. Um, currently, we have a lone uh, WPO champion mm -hmm. in the country, Zolani Tete. There are a number of IPO champions. As I'm talking to you, fresh from the convention that gave me an award, 
We have just seen the recent writings. Lutu uh, 9 mm Lamati and Zufugile um, Makwaka have been rated in the top 15 in the world. And they are sanctioned um, to fight for the vacant IPF intercontinental titles on the 28th of uh, July when we are doing our fourth annual celebration of Tata Nelson Mandela as a box. So we are excited about boxers. We are also excited about the enthusiasm amongst supporters. We think that it's getting there slowly but surely. Ayanda, thank you very much for joining us and best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you very much, Simon. Um, I'm grateful for the platform as well. Absolutely. Right now, a 10-year-old swimmer from Jeff.